Hi guys, James here from the To Boldly Goes Model Works and we have another inbox review. Now this one I've been, I obviously had sitting in my stash for a, a number of month, number of weeks. Um, is the Hawker Tem is the 2021 release of the Hawker Tempest that Airfix produced. Now Kit number is A2109 and we have two uh, oh, two decal options skill level one or flying hours one skill level two and on this side of all the usual gump even tells you when it's when it's produced here 2021 and cartograph decals so without further ado I'll pop the box open I pre-cut everything just to uh, show that I'm not aversion to uh, knives and here we have the decals and the instruction book shove that over there and here we have the sprues again apologies if you've seen this one already but yeah right a little bit of history of the Tempest this one's called a Tempest Mark V Tempest Mark V was actually, the reason it's called Tempest Mark V is that Hawker, even though they were going through a war and uh, were quite busy in that, they just had a bright idea they developed the a Typhoon Mark II. It's called a Typhoon II because um, obviously they had, they had the shortcomings of the Typhoon, obviously high level, uh, how high altitude performance. It couldn't, it couldn't keep up and they they took their the research that went into the la, the laminar flow wing from the Mustang and sort of like built the, built the Tempest, but they had they obviously had to do it with the, the engine the different engines. So you had Griffins, Merlins, Bristol Centaurus, and this one is the Napier Sabre engine. So this was the, the Tempest, the Tempest Five, essentially, and yeah, they built it. So there we go. Uh, let's have a look at the sprues. Sprue D. Tiny bit of flash there on the uh, engine exhaust. But easily cured. I'll show you that for a second. Obviously, they didn't want to risk that. They put they they put the pressure up to get the flash done. Then fuselage. Again, it's a later version of the Series 1 because obviously down here, as Hawkers are known for copying, obviously uh, design, if they have a bright, if it ain't broke, they don't fix it. So they put the fish plates along the trans transit joint that's here. And uh, yeah. So this is a late one because it's the first hundred ones had it and the later ones and then obviously they updated the uh, Typhoon as and when they went through. So nice little fuselage, some nice lovely details there. 
Again, the wings. Obviously, the Hispania Sousa cannon. I do. I honestly, when you've got the to do this, the the series two, all you need to do is remove those. And because obviously they were re, re recessed, they were short a shorter barrel. And the wheels, and the rear of the and um, and all undercarriage, and so forth. They are for an early. Uh, Tempest, they're a five spoke, so be careful. Four spoke is the is correct for, uh, correct for the Tempest. Okay, because I, I believe the uh, five spoke wheels wheels were were slight, they were they were they were brought over from the Typhoon, the glazing. I haven't cut this bag open. Oh dear. Lovely glazing there. Now the drop tanks, they're obviously for the sit for the Series two or the post-war version that Airfix released the released this year, and actually have got are currently got out, so they weren't they they weren't fitted. Although someone will obviously find out that they they have been, um, because obviously having the Lamina Lama Flow wing, the Typhoon was the Tempest was uh, didn't have the, the fuel range. So the instructions again history which I've given you and we get into the instruction now these are these are lovely instructions. Again, building up the. Uh... Let's have a check. Building up the uh... instrument panel, and obviously fitting the uh, gun sight, tail wheel, irradiator, with all the gubbins on. Filters, etc. The seat. Again, do the colour call outs. Black and green. No surprise there. And again, fit it all together. Bump the fuselage together. Build up the undercarriage bays of the wings. You can do it wing, uh, wheels up option. They're useful for masking. Um, fitting the guns as 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 required. I'll, I'll state as required. Um, again, basically. It, because the uh, Tempest had a, a framework cockpit, tubular framework for the cockpit. Obviously, they've made the put it on the floor on the floor of the wing. So fit the fit the, fit your rudders and your joystick. Although watch that because you'll break it off when you come to fit it. Again, fit the. Uh, Canopy fairing, and then followed the instructions to fit the uh, fit the wing. And the the uh, fit the sailplane as per the uh, 
logical. Obviously, their, their hand is port and starboard, so you can't get it wrong. Oh, someone will. I suspect me. Um, and build up the undercarriage. Undercarriage looks fairly straightforward. They'll, obviously, they give you the uh, correct um, toe in or toe out position. Obviously fit the wheels, they've got the large ones on there. So, again, do your research on those wheels. And again, it's making up the uh, the engine exhausts. Making up the prop. Good idea, really, that is. And fitting all, fitting all the detail to it. And plop in the pilot in. And then there we go, they're finished. Now we have your two decal options. Uh, option A, flown by Wing Commander Ronald Prosper B. B. Beaumont, number 50 wing, New Church, Kent, 1944. So you've got the full invasion stripes on that one. Again, you've got some nice, some notes. Ah, yeah, that I remember now because it, if they have a JN on the on their fuselage on on on, on their serial number, they're a later or an earlier aircraft. Yeah, plenty of decals, including the invasion stripes, as you can see. And the second one, B, is number 486 Squadron, Royal New, Royal New Zealand Air Force, Royal Air Force Castle Camps, Cambridgeshire, England, 1944. I suspect this is one, one they use for intercepting the V1 bus bombs, because... Uh, these had the performance to catch them because they were the fastest allied piston pla piston engine plane of World War Two. Again, Craft did the decals here and they are absolutely gorgeous. Here. No alignment issues with the roundels very very little carrier film L literally none except so probably on the uh, on the lettering scheme fantastic should have it the right way round, right round so you can read it but <laughs> sorry about that and yeah Obviously, you've got the yellow wingtip marks there. Obviously, you can spray them on. Save, 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 save the uh, fiddle. I suspect they will go on quite nicely. Nice. They're very nice. They're very thin. These decals, beautiful, beautiful decals. Now I should put those. Sit them inside the instructions. So, here we have a quick review of the Tempest Mark V. Okay then, bye for now. Hey.